What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwood and I am back again today bringing you guys another Madden 25 Ultimate Team episode of Pink Slips here on my channel. And today guys we are playing for the Ultimate Legend Eric Dickerson card. Sorry for the background, it's kind of a mess right now because I'm actually just kind of rearranging things after I got a new PC. But either way we're going to play today's game for Eric Dickerson. If the person is able to defeat me they will win that card. They risk absolutely nothing today. So it's going to be a fun game. I'm wishing them luck but of course as always better luck to me to keep this Eric Dickerson card. So thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon. Okay, so I know that he's a subscriber, obviously, because he's been on my friends list for a while. He sees outside zone coming, so I am going to try and go off the left side here with Eric Dickerson, and hopefully we're able to pick up some decent yardage here. Hey, he broke a tackle at least and gained us five on the first play. Not a bad start. Now it's time to see how he handles the buck sweep. This has been uh, my most successful play running for since probably, I guess, I saw BU Tweezy running it. And I gained four there. That should have been a bigger gain, but I juked like an idiot. And uh, that didn't work out very well for me. Third and one, I am going to run a screen pass now. And uh, I think that this should work out for me. We'll see how, what, see what type of defense he runs here. And he does have a decent defense to set up to stop it, but I am still going to be able to pick it up. Um, it looked like a zone defense of some sort there where he had a guy sitting kind of in a flat zone there, but it didn't really work out for him. So the battle to watch in this one is going to be Night Train Lane there on the far right side up against Donald Penn. Because if I'm able to knock down Night Train Lane, I should be able to get some decent runs. But if not, he's going to be able to uh, kind of control me throughout most of the game, at least in my running game. Uh, so there, see, there's Donald Penn making the blocks, and I'm able to get past him. And it looks like this one is going to go for a touchdown to put me up 7-0 on the first drive. I told you that was the most important block that needed to be made on that play, and he made it. Okay, so first play on defense for me now, and he's only got an Alfred Morris as his running back, so I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of passing going on in this one. Nice throw on that first play for him. Uh, off the back foot almost it looked like, but he still was able to make the completion. Oh, beautiful read option there for him. I didn't see that coming at all. That was bad defense by me for sure. So now that I know that he likes to run with his quarterback, I am going to be paying attention to that, or at least attempting to anyway, as he makes a nice completion there to Victor Cruz. That was a risky throw, but he made it anyway. Good completion. So guys, it is now the second quarter, and it looks like he is doing a pretty good job on offense here. I'm having a lot of trouble stopping him, and uh, he's going to go play action here. Oh, I played that just terribly. That was all my fault. That should have been an interception, but I just played it horribly. Good hit by Calvin Johnson, free safety there. Didn't force the fumble though. And it's a touchdown for him on the first drive. He ties it up. I could not stop his offense there. That is very worrisome for me. Back on offense now. Let's see what we can do here. We are gonna hand it off again. He continues to uh, run a contain on my quarterback. So obviously he knows that I like to run with Walter a lot. Good throw there, Walter. All right, there we go. Second and nine now. We are going to go with the QB wrap. And we get some nice blocking here, but he is... Ah, who is that? 41. That was a crazy play in pursuit. That should have been a huge gain, but he just completely shut it down. Third and five now, and I am going to be throwing on this play. We get Josh Gordon on the edge and get the first down. We're just going to keep running this as long as he's going to allow it. And we break loose, and that's going to be a touchdown to put us up 14-0. About 30 seconds left in the half, though. So we've got 24 seconds left here in the first half, and I need to make sure that I do not allow the big play. And, of course, nice throw for him there. He's still got all of his timeouts left as well. Pick this. There we go, champ. Big pick. Yes! That's what I like to see, champ. Huge. Okay, so without much time left on the clock, I am just going to run a, another QB wrap here and try and gain big yardage. I'm not really expecting it to go anywhere, but we'll see. You never, you never really know. 
And we do get the edge. Are we gonna get this? Uh, oh, the spin move, baby! Woo! That a baby, Walter. Touchdown, that puts us up two scores going into the half. An absolutely massive touchdown right there before the end of the first half because I am gonna have to kick to him to start the second half as well. Opening drive now of the second half for my opponent and he pretty much passed almost every play on the first in the first half so I'm expecting a lot of more of the kind of the same thing here and of course he goes deep on the first play and I don't have anybody to stop it good pass for him there his passing game is on there's no doubt about it um, he's crushing my zone defense right now and there's a nice run by Alfred Morris it, I have to make sure not to overcommit on the pass but at the same time I'm much more worried about his passing game than I am his running game Good screen pass for a gain of eight there. He's gonna run hurry up now after that first down. He passes it, oh man, that was a great pass. He's killing me with AJ Green, I can't stop him. All right, I'm gonna try something pretty risky here. I am gonna go with a cornerback blitz, which is not really something that I do very often. And of course he runs pretty much the perfect play, just a standard run up the middle. Not much I could do there. Third and five now, this is a big third down. Um, I do expect that he'll probably go for it, even if he doesn't pick this up, but I need to make sure. Oh, come on. Ugh. This is killing me right now. He is just killing me on offense. Wow, double coverage in between Champ Bailey and Calvin Johnson. I don't know what more I could have done there. That is an incredible pass. Incredible. Wow. Back on offense now, and we are gonna try and run off the left side here with Eric Dickerson. I like how this defense is set up. I like it. Ugh. Penn is not getting the blocks that I'm expecting him to. Third and five now, and this is a big stop here if he makes it. Uh, oh. <laughs> Fourth and one. What do I do? What do I do? Normally, I would not punt in this situation. I am confident that I'm able to pick up one yard. Um, but, you know, I, I want to make this as fair of a game as I can. I do expect my opponents to punt most of the time, and he did punt earlier, so I am going to here on fourth and one. Not feeling too excited about it, but what can you do? I have to make a stop on defense. Um, it, it's hugely important here. Wow, he is just throwing it into coverage, just straight up into coverage. I cannot stop AJ Green, he has seven catches. Unbelievable, man. Seriously, wow, that's crazy. There we go, finally another pick. Finally, when he throws it into coverage, we make a play. That a baby, Sean Taylor. So I am feeling very good about the fact that my guys made an interception there. Um, I, I'm feeling good about not punting as well. I got 237 left on the clock. I got to get out of this uh, game here. And I, in order to do that, I'm going to try and run as much as I possibly can. Run out as much clock as possible. Okay, guys, we've got two minutes left here in the half. And uh, it's definitely going to come down to if he can make a stop here on this drive. And it looks like we've got some nice blocking here. Eric Dickerson just continues to make plays in the running game. He does have to use a timeout there. Got to continue to try and run the ball here. There's a minute 54 left. If I score here, the game's pretty close to over. And if I'm able to run out some clock in the meantime, that would be great as well. So this is working exactly in my favor right now as he calls another timeout. Okay, guys, third and four. And we are going to run it again here and try our best to pick up this first down. And we've got it. Chris Johnson makes it in there. I guess Dickerson was tired from, from running all over this game. So that is going to put the game in a 28 to 24 score. I'm feeling very good about this. Uh, he doesn't really have a lot of time to come back at this point. Okay, guys, here it is. The final drive of the game, potentially. Um, if I make a stop here, it's over for sure. He is absolutely loving throwing up these seams. So I'm trying to cover him as best as I can. We knock it away on the deep throw.
Wow, I can't believe nobody intercepted that one. Come on now. Come on now, guys. <laughs> Fourth and 10, and this is a huge play here, of course. Uh, he doesn't have any timeouts left, so he does have to get the first down here and continue down the field. He cannot stop. J.J. Watt getting the pressure on him, and that's going to force him to throw it away. And we are going to take over here on offense again. That should pretty much do it in this one. All right, so this is probably going to be the last play of the game here. This is going to be Eric Dickerson's 15th carry of the game. And we pick up the first down, and that is going to do it in this one, guys. Uh, so I guess I do hold on to Eric Dickerson in today's game. It was a pretty good game, actually. He just made a couple mistakes in throwing the ball, uh, forcing just a few too many passes, and it finally came back to bite him. We did make those interceptions with Champ Bailey and Sean Taylor. And so I am going to keep Dickerson. I'm probably going to end up selling him, but that could mean good things for you guys because that's going to mean more giveaways, better pink slips down the road. Uh, so please do look forward to that. I appreciate my opponent for playing in today's game. Uh, like I said, it was closer than what the, sc uh, the score says, 28-14. to 14. It really was just uh, maybe a drive or two at the very most indifference. So uh, great game from him. I do appreciate everybody watching today's video. Thank you guys so much. It's it's meant a lot to me. This, this video uh, series has really done well for my channel, and I hope you guys are enjoying it. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys want to play for next week. Uh, I have another card in mind, but, you know, I want to hear what you guys have to say as well. So, please leave that in the comment section below. Press that like button if you enjoyed today's game, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.